My guest tonight, Hugo Weaving, has defied all expectations and quite possibly common sense as well by releasing his new movie while cinemas are closed. Hearts and Bones is the story of a war photographer and his unlikely friendship with a South Sudanese refugee. What if she is alive? What then? I'll help you find her. Welcome back to The Weekly, Hugo. Thank you, Charlie. Lovely to be here. So what was it that drew you to this film in the first place? I thought it was a really extraordinary um, look at contemporary Sydney, um, suburban Sydney, about just human beings trying to set up a home and build a family, deal with their relationships. And it was about friendship and community, really. Well, like your characters, you and your co-star, Andrew Lurie, came from vastly different backgrounds. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. <My friend. laughs> come, 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 join us. Come. Andrew actually did flee South Sudan himself twice and was working as a garbage truck driver before getting this role while you are, well, you're, you're Hugo Weaving. So what dynamic did that create? The idea of casting a non-actor in it was something that made really good sense to me. Someone who who had actually been in South Sudan, who was from South Sudan, who was living in Australia, who had a similar experience to this particular character. And once that decision was made and Andrew was cast and we met, it was very clear that we were going to have to find a common ground to stand on and a common sort of breathing space to be in, a common way of working. And it was just really about two people, two different people telling the same story in their own ways. So it was a great uh, experience for me. I, I learned a lot from being with Andrew and um, he tells me he learned something from, <laughs> from, from being with me, but uh, I hope so. Now, you were acting at the National Theatre in London when COVID hit and uh, acting, unfortunately, is one of the many jobs that cannot be done from home. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're right, no. <laughs> you're right, it can't. <laughs> well, well, how dramatic was your own version of Brexit? On the Monday, we came in to do the show, and th by that stage, the whole herd immunity idea had gone out the window, and suddenly there was a sort of a, a lockdown. We pulled the plug on the, on the show. We had a party, because <laughs> we'd all been hanging out together anyway. <laughs> You know, we had we had our last hugs, literally, that night. We had drinks and a big, big party, which ended up at my place till very late. And that was it. And the next day, it was like, OK, I, I think I better get out of London because maybe it's not a good place to be caught. So I flew home within within a day and a half. Well, you have been filling your time, though. You have been making what, what I would call uh, short art house films with, with Sam Neill. That's very generous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam. Hugo, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm having a bath. Uh, now, is this evidence of two people coping brilliantly or the opposite? Yeah, it might, it might be the opposite, two people going mad. Uh, I, <laughs> I haven't seen Sam uh, yet except for, you know, in the bath. And uh, <laughs> we, we, do keep, we do keep in contact and I've been watching his, his other films. And I hope you noticed how um, I had a little Charlie Pickering there uh, in the bath with me. Ah, uh, yes, the, the duck that Sam named after me, who I have to say is having a better career than I am. Charlie Pickering, my favourite duck. Come on, Charlie. Yeah, no, I think Sam's going completely mad. Um, uh, unlike me, of course. Oh, no, of course. Absolutely. Uh, the Hearts and Bones DVD is out now, or you can get it digitally from wherever you get your movie fix. Hugo, thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to having you in the studio when we can be proximate again. Thank you very much, Charlie. Much love.